There is Shirasawa kun and Kitamata kun. They were hired as short term part time workers. My name is Hiroki Shirasawa. I'm 29 and recently started a part time job at a home improvement store. A round of applause was sent to us. I plan to be here for the next three months. I hired you guys for the event in two months. I want you to learn your job well from now on. Apparently, they are holding a 30th anniversary event for Love Koi Home and has temporarily increased the number of people. Shirasawa-kun, you will be putting out the items first. Zaibe-san, could you teach him? Yes, I'm Aira Zaibe. Pleased to meet you. The person I was introduced to was a woman around the same age as me, but for some reason, her smile seemed unnatural. The store opens at 10 a.m., so please get it done by then. Take care of the rest, Zaibe-san. After saying that, the manager headed towards the other newbie, Usumi Kitamata. This is the quantity of items sold yesterday. Simply add the same number of items from the warehouse to a cart and replenish the shelves. But be careful about the boxes you take out. We assign serial numbers for inventory management purposes. I see. I looked at a nearby box and I saw a number written on it. The first day was stocking and cash register. Since it's a weekday, there aren't many customers. Oh, hey! Taniyama-san! That's the one with the wrong box number! Huh? Zaib-san spoke to one male employee. He looks very rude. I, the elite, decided that it's fine, alright? You part-timers shouldn't talk to me like that. As expected of Zaibe, the former highly educated elite. Even if you fall down, you still think you're better than others? What? Sorry to interrupt. We need to prepare to open the store, right? Besides, rules are rules. I appear in front of a man named Taniyama. You're saying I, a regular employee, am wrong? How can a part-timer who just started today know that? I mean, it's rule, right? In that case, I think Zaibe-san is correct. Besides, no matter what your position is, it's not okay to put others down. <gasps> Stop. It's almost opening time. At this point, Usumi Kitamata intercedes. Tch! The part-timers this time don't have any manners. After saying that, Hayato Taniyama left. <laughs> Jeez, what a guy. Then I replenished the shelves immediately. I also learned how to run the cash register. Just scan the barcode and press the total button. When you receive money from a customer... She teaches everything in an easy-to-understand manner. Your shift is until 5 p.m., right? I'll be with you all day today, so please learn well. And the first day ended. Ah, Zaibisan, thank you for your time today. We both ended at the same time, so I called out to her. Good work! Oh, right. I didn't say thank you, did I? Thank you for helping me this morning. I mean, for protecting me. His words were painful to hear. Huh? Alright, let's go have a drink! Whoa! We were surprised to see Usumi Kitamata there before we knew it. What? What is it all of a sudden? I would like to build friendships with my colleagues. We are the only ones who are done at this hour. <coughs> to your friendship! So, with Kitamata's command, the drinking party begins. Hey, Zaibe-san, don't be shy. Let's drink! Hey, um... I'm not a very good drinker, so... The old me was so stupid! Despite not being a good drinker, Zaibe-san drank quite a bit and fell asleep. Phew, this feels good. Making friends at work and drink together. Uh, yeah. But we shouldn't have done it for this long. We have a shift tomorrow too. <laughs> Definitely. But I've never done anything like this, so I'm happy. 
he seemed somewhat lonely. Wh where is this? Next morning, when I woke up, there was an unfamiliar ceiling. And for some reason, I'm wearing light clothes. It's cold. Where is this? Oh, what? Zaibisan? Huh? Why? <coughs> and Aida Zaibe is sleeping comfortably next to me. Looking around, it's a small and shabby room. Ugh, so I was drinking yesterday. And Zaibisan's house is nearby, and I was going to drop her off after we parted ways with Kitamata-san. I try hard to remember what happened last night. I was highly educated. <laughs> Why am I like this now? <laughs> the first company I worked for was <laughs> bought out and I got fired. <laughs> and the second company I went for went bank wrapped. <laughs> I screwed up! I know it's my fault! You get what I'm saying? Yes, yes. I understand that you had a hard time. Uh, just remembering the past... <laughs> makes me want to throw up! Hey, 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 hey! Gah! Something warm and sour came out! Uh, right. If I remember correctly, my jacket was soiled, and I had no choice but to take it off when I got to her house. My... Boom? <sighs> Dizzy? Dizzy? At the same time, her head hit mine, and I fell unconscious. Apologize for the trouble. I'll wash your soiled jacket. No, I'll buy you a new one. Afterwards, when I checked my memory with her as she woke up, she honestly apologized. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. It can't be helped because you were drunk and... And I hesitated. I can guess her financial situation from this place. Perhaps sensing my feelings, she looked a little somber and said... The result of my own arrogance. What was I thinking? Seriously? It's karma. Oh! Shirasawa-san! Time! Look at the time! Huh? I looked at the clock and it read... 8.20. You're late on your second day already? What the heck is going on? I'm sorry. I hurried home, took a shower, and got to work at 10 past 9. 10 minutes late. I heard from Zaibakun. But please be careful. Hey there, part-timer. You lectured me like a big shot yesterday. But are you late today? What happened to the rules? S sorry Hayato Taniyama immediately makes a sarcastic comment. What a bastard. It's the same with you. Taniyama-san for always saying stupid things at work. Grr, you. At the end of the day, Kitamata also apologized to me for taking me out drinking on a weekday, and when we finished changing... Um, Shirasawa-san, do you have a bit of time tonight? Um, I got your jacket dirty and got you scolded for being late and stuff. Please allow me to apologize for what I did. You see, I... The moment she was about to say something... So noisy. Go home. You're just a former highly educated elite and a high school graduate. Hayato Taniyama spoke with a very condescending look. Heh, I'm happy to see you two bottom feeders get along well. But why don't you just go home now? I wonder if he has seen our resumes without permission. Bastard. I'll go home even if you don't tell me to. I don't know what your background is, but... If you make fun of others, you'll regret it. Like me. You're a pitiful person. Hey, are you making fun of me? 
You friggin' part-timer. I'm a regular employee, unlike you. Bye. Let's go, Shirasawa-san. And Aida Saibe left the office, pulling me along. And then, we are alone on the street. When I looked at her nervously, she was about to explode with frustration. Ugh, it's frustrating! <laughs> but there are people like him in any company. It's not like that. It's like I'm looking at my old self. That's why it's frustrating. What? I guess because I graduated from a good university and joined a good company, I became cocky. I realized that after experiencing setbacks. Even if I tried to one-up someone else, I was only making myself feel good while making people around me feel uncomfortable. He's right. After hitting the rock bottom, I finally understood and reflected on my actions. I don't know her past, so I couldn't say anything. After that, we went to a bento shop called Smile Bento in a shopping district nearby. Is this really okay? I was thinking of treating you at a restaurant. <laughs> this is enough. You're gonna have my jacket clean too, so... You're giving me more than an hourly wage for being late that I lost. Lucky me! It's okay. It's not about the amount. No matter how expensive your apology is, sometimes, the only person who feels better is the person making the apology. The important thing is how we care for each other. Whether we can forgive each other when something happens. Uh, you're right. <laughs> that makes my ears burn. She bit her lower lip for a moment in frustration, but... She smiled kindly at the end. Thank you. Your words really touched my heart. I... I didn't understand anything. I was an idiot. I'm sure the old me would... Yes. If it was the old me. Please don't be so bossy. You're just a high school graduate. I think I would have said something like Tamiyama-san. I guess I changed quite a bit. That's what she was thinking after parting ways from me. Well, it's been a month and a half since I started my part-time job. I got used to the job, and despite Tamiyama-san, I was having a good time. Oh, you? Are you perhaps... Zaibe? What? Director Uemura! Long time no see. Oh, I'm not the director anymore. Apparently, she's Zaibe-san's old boss. Do you remember Kaijiki-kun? He's my sister's husband, and I currently work at his company. Are you... working here? Kajiki-san? As soon as Aida Zaibe heard the name, her face turned pale. Seeing that, I stepped forward. <laughs> do you know each other? I'm deeply indebted to Zaibe-san. She's my good senior. Shirasawa-san! At that moment, she suddenly bowed to the woman in front of her. Director, I'm sorry for what I did, despite your warning. Even to Kajiki-san, I was so condescending, arrogant, and stupid. Huh, I see. Well, next time, I'll bring Kajiki-kun with me. Say that to him directly. Anyway, can I pay? The woman said in a kind voice, finished her shopping, and left. Uh, thank you, Shirasawa-san. Thanks to you, I had the courage to apologize. Huh? No, 
I didn't do anything. You said I'm a good senior. That's why I thought I should act like one. To show her that I'm no longer the arrogant person I used to be. I don't know about her past or her feelings, but I'm sure she has changed from her former self. Now, on the other hand, this guy. Hayato Taniyama was sitting arrogantly in the warehouse, slacking off. So cocky. They are just part-timers, but they don't understand that regular employees are in a higher position. The same goes for my previous colleagues. Why do I get told this and that? Our positions are different. Ironically, they had similar characteristics, but one has changed her job and realized her past mistakes. And this guy kept changing jobs without realizing his mistakes. One week later, as promised, the woman the other day brought a couple with her. Daibisan asked her boss for a bit of time off and talks with them in a parking lot. But that Zaibei has changed, huh? That's amazing. <laughs> Was she that bad? I can't imagine at all. If so, that's fine. You just look at who she is and... No. She needs people like you too. Next morning, Aida Zaibe brightened up a little. It seems like something has been lifted off her chest. You're gonna resume job hunting? Yes. I was thinking of giving up, but I decided to try again. By the way, Shirasawa-san, what will you do when this part-time job ends? Oh, me? Actually, excuse me, I brought a delivery. Oh, you're gonna take over your parents' company? That's right. Well, I've pretty much already taken over, actually. It's kind of like a grace period now. We only have a little over a month left in our part-time job, and... Hey, what is this? Hayato Taniyama's loud voice echoed through the store that had not yet opened. What's wrong? I ran to the warehouse, and there were Aida Zaibe and Hayato Taniyama. Ah, Shirasawa-san. Well, the number of products ordered for the festival was incorrect. What the heck is this? There are way too many. Oh, that's right, Shirasawa. It must be your mistake. Huh? What the hell is this guy talking about? Why did you receive this quantity of items? You did the inspection, right? Well, the number was correct, so I signed it and received it. What's wrong with that? It's obvious this quantity is strange. Didn't you think so? You're the one who placed the order, right? Wasn't it you who made the mistake? And Zaibasan intervenes. Huh? <laughs> it's partly my fault too, but it's worse that you didn't notice the strange quantity during inspection. No way he could notice that. If you made a mistake, just apologize and return them. What's wrong with you? He's not at fault at all. Please apologize. Huh? The two get into a heated argument. Then, eh, you know nothing, you useless self-proclaimed elite and a lowly educated bastard. It's a custom-made item for the festival, so it can't be returned. Someone has to take responsibility, alright? And he says, Responsibility is on you, part-timers. And you guys are fired under my orders. Get out now! What? <laughs> are you serious? I don't remember giving such rights to my employees. When I look towards the voice, Usumi Kitamata and the store manager were there with a wry smile on their faces. Besides, that was not a task that should be left to a part-time worker. It's your fault. Huh? What are you acting like a big shot? You're just a part-timer too! At this point, the store manager, who had been silent until now, speaks out. His real name is Natsui Usumi, the president of our group of companies. That's right. I also heard later that Usumi Kitamata was just a pseudonym. 
His real name is Natsui Osumi, and he's the president of this company that runs four home improvement centers. Apparently, he inherited this business from his grandfather, who told him to work at a store first and gain experience. And he decided to hide his true identity and worked as a part-time worker to get the real experience. By the way, the only person who knew that was the store manager. In the end, Hayato Taniyama was taken to the office by the president and store manager. As for us... <laughs> I was surprised when Taniyama-san told us we're fired! I know, right? I couldn't even say anything because I knew that was impossible. We laughed saying that, but that smile will soon disappear from our faces. Oh shoot! We need to prepare for the opening! Well, this morning was tough in many ways. <sighs> yeah, really. He was just terrible. Taniyama-san didn't apologize until the end, did he? He'll probably just get fired. It seems like he had a lot of other problems to begin with, including slacking off at work. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Please let me call someone for a moment. Then, she takes out her smartphone and makes a call. Oh, hey, Shigetomi? I am surprised you haven't, uh, blocked me. Um... So, I'm really sorry. I did the worst thing a human could do. I don't ask you to forgive me. I just wanted to apologize. Huh? Thanks to you, we got married. I, I see. Uh, okay. Well then. <laughs> he says thanks to you I met a good partner, so it's okay. I don't hold any grudges. After finishing her call, she says this bitterly. I asked her who he was, and... My ex. Probably the one whom I caused the most trouble to. For some reason, I felt a pang of pain when I heard her say ex, and... Zaiba-san, watch out! However, that was in vain, and Zaiba-san was caught by Hayato Taniyama. You ambushed us? Hey, you damn part-timers! It's your fault. I'm about to lose my job again because of you. You part-timers, all you have to do is listen to what regular employees say. Ow! The moment I heard her scream, something inside me snapped. <laughs> Let her go! Whoa, what the heck? I used all of my strength to tear her away from him, and forcefully held him down. What? What happened? Zaibei-san? Please, help us! So, why did you do that? In the end, he was questioned by the police called by Sumika Wimura. It seems he might not be charged for bodily harm, but it will probably be some kind of a crime. Then, when our interview was over, Zaibisan suddenly hugged me. Z Zaibisan? I was scared. Really scared. I. I. It's okay. I'll protect you. It's okay. <laughs> I see. As long as he's there, she might be okay. Now, let's talk about what happened after that. First of all, Hayato Taniyama was, of course, fired. Why is this happening? While on probation, he was arrested for an incident. Even though it was a minor crime, of course he got fired. Furthermore, it seems that he became violent at a coffee shop too, ending up in the hands of the police again. By the way, apparently, Zaibisan and he are the same age, and he had taken the entrance exam for the same university as her and failed. It seems he was jealous. As for us, we were told that our contract would end without waiting for the festival, because of that guy. Honestly, 
I don't know what he will do next. I will pay for your moving expenses and wages for an extra month. I'm sorry, but your safety comes first. Oh, I'm unemployed. I'm unemployed again. I life. Daibisan is shocked. Well, it can't be helped. It's the company's fault for not creating an appropriate working environment. And I turned her, extended my hand. Zaibasan, so, I'm gonna take over my family business now. We're a small company, but if you like, would you like to work for me? What? I is that okay? I... I used to hurt people a lot, you know? But you're different now, right? I'm inviting you because of who you are now. And then, she gently took my hand. Hi, hi everyone, this is Brittany. Uh, this was a really awesome story in my opinion. I voice a lot of characters on this channel who never learn their lesson, so having the female protagonist to be one of those arrogant characters from maybe a previous story, it was super fun to play and super fun to see fold out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the next story and I'll see you next time. Jenny!